here are the stages of love in your brain. So there's like the lust stage. This is that first bit of attraction. And it's when someone, you know, catches your eye across the room. Um, in here, there's testosterone and estrogen are the main players. So um, they're not just sex hormones. They spark, they are the spark, the first spark that ignites that initial attraction. Um, then there's the attraction phase where you get the butterflies in your stomach and you're daydreaming, obsessive thoughts. Um, so in this stage, there's three neurotransmitters that are pretty much at play. So dopamine, pleasure chemical, it's that euphoric feeling when you're falling in love. Um, it's like a, a runner's high, you know. Um, there's norepinephrine. So this is like caffeine, naturally caffeine. So your heart races, makes you excited, more alert, more responsive. It also can make you feel like jitters when you're around someone. Uh, that you're attracted to. And there's serotonin, of course. So um, serotonin though, sometimes can actually drop in the early stages leading to those obsessive thoughts. So that one's interesting, how that can um, create that interest in another person. Um, and then there's, you know, as you move into a more attached phase, where you're bonding more deeply, and this is where oxytocin and vasopressin enter. So um, oxytocin is like your love hormone, your cuddle hormone, and it's released during physical touch, hugging, kissing, being intimate. Um, and it helps to deepen those feelings of attachment um, and make you feel closer to one another after physical touch. Um, vasopressin, which is, this plays a role in your longer term commitment. So some studies, in animals have shown that it can influence pair bonding behaviors. Um, so to wrap it up, love isn't just a random occurrence. It is deeply rooted in our biology.